Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing well. Well, I was in the middle of working on another video when I took a break and saw on my Twitter feed an exciting new tweet from the Radeon Technologies group. In this tweet, they state, Take a first look at the design of the new Radeon RX 6000 series. Our upcoming AMD RDNA 2 graphics cards will feature a brand new cooler design and you can study every angle yourself on our Fortnite Creative Island. And then they also mentioned the code which is 8651-9841-1639. So if you play Fortnite and you're into that kind of stuff, then definitely check it out. I don't play Fortnite. I did play it a lot when the game first came out back in September 2017, but stopped after all the non-stop updates and when the game blew up. Anyways, we'll talk more about AMD's marketing later, but first let's look at this card. They only put up one picture of the card in regards to the actual render images, but... The, there were some screenshots taken from the Fortnite map as well, which I'll get to later. In regards to the overall design, I actually really like it. And right off the bat, I'm glad that we have an open air-cooled design, as with these types of coolers, you'll get much better performance when compared to the traditional blower coolers AMD have used in the past, and really have just shot themselves in the foot with. Because generally with the, with the blower, they've only got one fan on them, so they don't move a whole lot of air and therefore cause the GPU to run hot, thus generating a lot of noise. And, I mean, a lot of noise. Here you guys can see they've gone with a triple fan design which might signify that this could be their top end or flagship SKU. I mean if you're going to be doing a big unveiling like this it's probably more than likely going to be their top Halo product. So more than likely it's the RX 6900 XT. And judging from this render it looks like the fans are going to be using a triaxial design similar to what we saw from Nvidia's Founders Edition cards and the Radeon 7. I also like the look of the GPU shroud as well. It's very sleek looking and instead of a simple rectangular design they opted for on the Radeon 7, here we're seeing some curves and rounded pieces which give it a nice dynamic look. And you'll also notice the middle sections are indented a bit but since they've gone with a more symmetrical look it actually looks appealing in this case. As with the 5700 XT, I remember there was that random dent on the top of the card and everyone ridiculed the card for its funny look as if it got damaged during shipping or something. One more thing I want to mention with the GPU shroud is that we can see that with the middle of the body, there's some either white or silver accents which give the card a nice touch and complements the black theme of the card or the dark look. Moving on to the top of the card, you guys can also see that there is that Radeon logo in the middle and... More importantly, you'll see near the edge of the card two 8-pin power connectors. I'm actually happy that AMD decided to stick with the traditional look of the power or the placement of the power connectors near the edge of the card rather than what Nvidia did with the Founders Edition cards for the RTX 3000 series where they put the small 12-pin power connector like in the middle of the card. And honestly, I saw some reviewers testing it and it looked absolutely funny and so out of place. With two 8 pins, you're looking at a card which can be configured up to 375 watts, since one 8 pin is capable of supplying up to 150 watts and the PCIe slot can do 75 watts. Though that doesn't mean they'll necessarily go for that configuration, it just means that hey, that power connectors could be capable of doing that theoretically. While we're on the topic of power consumption, I have a feeling that with this new generation, AMD might actually have the more efficient offerings this time around when compared to Nvidia. Because they're about half a node ahead of them right now. We all know that Nvidia is utilizing Samsung's 8 nanometer node, which really is an enhanced 10 nanometer node. And from the stuff I've heard, the yields aren't exactly spectacular. Whereas with AMD, they were already using TSMC's 7 nanometer node since Radeon 7, which was released back in early 2019. Now they're going to be going with an enhanced version of that node, just like Nvidia did, only difference being TSMC's node is much better. 
Now, I'm not saying that all the efficiency gains are just going to be coming from a better node, but AMD have claimed RDNA 2 architecturally will be more efficient than RDNA 1. I think Nvidia was aware of this, which is why when they unveiled Ampere and the RTX 3000 series GPUs, we saw some big bold claims such as 1.9 times the performance per watt, but in actuality, that's probably not going to be the case when we compare the products like the RTX 3080 versus the 2080 or 2080 Ti in terms of real world performance in games. But that's more of a topic for another video. Circling back to this big Navi GPU, that's more than likely the flagship. I think this card is going to be quite efficient. And we're also seeing AMD opt for a heatsink that isn't all that thick. It's certainly a lot thinner than the RTX 3000 Founder Edition cards, that's for sure. But more in line with the heatsink we saw from the Radeon 7. This is a dual slot card, not a triple slot card. And you know how there's cards out there where the manufacturer or vendor will state it's a dual slot, but in actuality, the heatsink is so thick that the GPU shroud is extended so is extended outward, making the card a two and a half slot card. And this big Navi card here looks like it'll be a legit two slot card. There were actually some more images posted on Twitter by the by a user named Nathan, and if you look at the image where they're showing the I.O., you can actually see the shroud isn't protruding out too much, not by any significant amount over the I.O. plate. Speaking of I.O., the card that's shown in the Fortnite map also shows two display ports, which are probably 1.4As, an HDMI port, most likely 2.1, and a USB-C port, which is fantastic because... I don't even think you get those ports anymore with NVIDIA's Founders Edition cards, or I don't even know if Turing had them either. I'll have to double check on that. And I know for a lot of users out there who are using, you know, VR headsets and stuff, they'll definitely appreciate that. There's another image from the map which shows the GPU shroud, and it does look like they've gone with that two-tone accent design. And there also seems to be some reflective bits in the middle. Links will be down in the video description so you guys can check those images out for yourselves. Overall, it looks like a pretty cool design, and this is the kind of marketing I want to see from AMD and the Radeon Technologies group. Not, you know, putting up random lyrics on Twitter and then doing an announcement of an announcement. Although I don't play Fortnite and would have much rather preferred an animated video on their YouTube channel, this kind of stuff is interactive and, you know, their audience can have fun with it. So nonetheless, at least now they're putting some stuff out there, and I'm sure there will be more stuff to come. But I thought I'd share these posts and images with you guys and give my thoughts on them. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.